Hello, in this video we're just going to look at some tips and tricks for optimizing your color Doppler. The first thing to note is when putting color Doppler on it's always important to optimize your 2D image first. Make sure you get a nice 2D image before putting the color on. And it can be helpful for color Doppler just to reduce your 2D gain slightly before putting the color on. Once you've optimized your 2D image, hit the color box on and what you want to do is keep your color box as small as possible but while still keeping in the whole area of interest. So we can see in this image, if I make my color box the whole of the screen, that drops my frame rate to 13 frames per second and we can see it's quite jumpy. As soon as I reduce the size of my color box, we can see the frame rate increases to 21 frames per second and I could actually optimize this further by reducing the sector width of my 2D image to increase the frame rate even more. Once we've got the color box the right size, the next option would be our gain. So we have our color gain which works the same way as your 2D gain, it will adjust the brightness of the color. If we can see in this, if I turn it all the way up, we get a lot of artifact and a lot of speckle. If you're unsure with your gain, what we'd recommend you do is just turn the color gain up so you start getting the artifact and speckle and then slowly reduce it until all that artifact's gone. It can be good to do this just to make sure your color gain is also not too low because if your color gain is too low, there is a danger that you could be missing flow that is there. So you've got your color gain and then the next one to be aware of is your color scale. So we might adjust our color scale if we're looking for low flows such as PFO, we would want to drop that scale to make the color Doppler more sensitive. But if you are getting a lot of artifact, it may be because your color scale is too low when you're looking at the heart. Majority of time in the heart, the blood flow is quite high, velocity wise. So we can see here, if I reduce my color scale on this image, I get a lot of artifact, a lot of aliasing. And it can be hard to determine what is true flow and what is artifact. So what I want to do, is just increase my scale and that will smooth out some of the turbulence and reduce the aliasing and also it will filter out some of the lower flows velocities to make it easier for me to determine and make a diagnosis on the colour. So have a look at your colour scale. So the four options we would do for optimising our colour Doppler, first of all make sure you've got a nice 2D image, optimise the size of your box as small as possible but still covering the area of interest. Make sure your gain is optimized and check your color scale. There will be our four basic tips for optimizing color Doppler.